Okay, it's day 87. Let's see if we can add REPL auth to our blog engine. So the first thing I've done is fork the blog engine from the other day, and I'm gonna run it so that the web view is working. And of course, because I forked it, I do need to add my secret back in for my secret key. It can be whatever you want. That should be long enough. And then it should actually run. All right. Now we're going to get rid of a lot of this. And we're going to add some stuff to it. And remember, as it's a fork, it doesn't share the same database. So those blog entries we wrote before are still in day 86. They're just not here with us today. But it should be really reasonably easy to turn on authentication. Let's click the authentication button. Let's bring that over here. I'm going to turn off the sidebar and turn it on. There we go. So we've got a different kind of authentication. now. Let's see what that looks like when I log in. So I click login, I authorize, I get my original login page. That's probably not what I want. So let's go back to our code and see what we can change here. Now you'll see here we've got some code for our session. So the session is maintained now by our header from our login. So all we need to do is change this up a little bit. So if session.get user, we don't want that. We want to get our user ID. Let's find out what our user ID is first, shall we? Because that would be a good idea. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get that from here. So I'm going to say my user ID is equal to request.headers. And I'm going to pull it in from here. In fact, let's pull in my username. Okay, so what's my username going to be? Let's print that out. So I'll just pop in the console in a moment. So when we get to the page, first thing I want to do is pull their username and just print out the header information. Okay, pull this up here. I'm on the page. So that must mean my header should be here. So there's my username. So when I grab that, I'm going to get rid of printing it out and I'm going to say if the user ID is the same as that, which should be in quotes, of course, and of course, you know what your username is, it's up here. So you can have a look at it, get your profile, pull your username in if you want to. In fact, mine's here, isn't it, David at Replit. So if I'm here, I'm going to throw me to the edit page, otherwise just the blog page. I think I don't even need the login button, do I really? So if I go to my uh, blog page here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out the login button. So that's here. So the way we do comments in HTML is an exclamation mark, sorry, a, a chevron, an exclamation mark, and two hyphens. And then we can turn it off with two hyphens and a right chevron. So with that gone, there should be no login button on that page anymore. So if I open it here, there we go. Let's see what page I'm actually on here. Uh, I'm on bog standard normal page, which is not where I want to be really, is it? Because if this had worked as I wanted it to, it should have forwarded me to the other page. Let's close my authentication tab a minute and just double check that. Ah, right, okay. I've set myself up into an almost infinite loop now of my own devising here, because I suspect what I've done is I've left the code the sessions turned on somewhere else. So let's have a look. So let's bring this in and replace my session code. Yeah, here we go. So there we go. Send them to edit. If it's all good, send them to edit. If it's all good, edit is the opposite. If you're on edit, add should be the same as the one above it. You shouldn't be allowed to go and add a logout. Logout's okay, but logout, I don't think it's going to work in this case, but it doesn't matter for the moment. We want to run that and see if we can actually run the page now. There we go. So I can do a test blog from yesterday. Blah, 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 blah. Click save and it gets added. Um, if I log in as any other user now, I'm just going to see the blog, which is exactly what I wanted. That was quite nice and easy in the end, wasn't it? Short video. Fantastic. Thank you.